Sunday night, and you know what that means. Time for the mediocre hour. Those streams send us stubborn. You must have been really bored browsing on Twitch and then saw me going live at this hour. The Mumbai Warrior. Those who are popping on in here or lurking whatnot, it's time for some more mediocre RPG hour, which I think I'm about three-fourths of the way through this game. And I already know the very next game I'm going to be playing. I have downloaded and ready to go for the After Dark stream, and that is called Distance, which I've heard, which I've never played, but it's got great reviews, and I want to play a good racing game. Oh, Bombshell stock stock in Twitch too. Well, I know why Bombshell is in here. He's, he's like, yep, let me put some points in that Mega Man challenge. I know you want to. But oh no, you're here. You're also here to keep me company. It's like, hey, I'm here for CJ too, because CJ cool. How you doing, Bombshell? But I doubt you're just only here just to earn the points. That if that was the case, that that hurt my feelings. But you know what? I know it's not true because you're like, yo, I want to play this, uh, play Outriders with you guys. Let's go. Bombshell's dedicated. So, gotta deal with former deities. So, it's time to leave this little stupid place. According to this, I've got to go west, back to the past. It's funny that World Map uses the title screen music. Fly my little piglet to, I think this is where I'm supposed to go? No, that's Leo Forest. I need to go south. Right? Yep, this is it. What the hell happened here? Point for, I hope so. Although I've been on a couple of discords where some people will join their discord community. And all they do is, they don't even say hello or nothing. All they do is self-promote whenever they go into live chat or go and do a... Uh, when they go live, which I mean, I know, I mean, <clears throat> I'm on one Discord, I should let the person know who's like, you know, you got this one guy who does nothing but self promote and hasn't yet to ever say hi once. So. Huh? What's the matter? I mean, unless you're into mediocre RPGs, Bombshell Boy, I have no idea if you're not. My game is not mediocre. It's way more high quality than a Chemco game. Well, I won't say for my first game, but I think my second and third game could, you know... Despite me using RPG Maker, I think it's, it's production quality. Nothing. I was just thinking that this place is like Phasma is all. But as it turns out, it's not. A space created by the deity will reflect their consciences to a great degree. Unlike with Rascal, they have no more need to hide their true character. This is why this pair plays their influence on Fidit vividly. Oh, so basically this was a temple, and now it's turned into this. So this reflects their inner thoughts. I see them. Now it makes me make sense why Phasma, why in Phasma there were fields of flowers because Nadia is a woman. Do not need to tell you what I already know about myself. <laughs> well, you sure tricked us two years ago. Even if you didn't let you on that you had a feminine side. I guess we do have their secrets, don't they? Then again, it was all her doing that drove you insane in the first place, wasn't it? <laughs> it would seem you know me better than I thought. Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> I think Felix was the cause of everything. Despite that, we know another rival. Yeah, Sine and your silly tag of feminine. 
Yet you never put masculine in there. I guess you're not feeling masculine too much yet, huh? that we have another rival. How come things never work out for us? Indeed. What's not about this rival stuff? Never you mind. That's right, because they're fighting over Zack's heart. Do none of you realize we're in enemy territory? You need to get together before I crack the whip. Yeah, our bad. Then again, it's pretty pathetic to need to be told by a cat who can't use one. What was that? I love this cat. <laughs> if it's safe to come out. Yep, looks that way. Oh my gosh, you were hitting on that big old flying pig? I'm surprised I didn't know. It turns out hiding your beastly hair was a good idea. Now to find Claudius. It appears that that's where he's at. I'm not going to be seen by lying adults again. Wow, she's really mature. She's really mature, huh? Kind of reminds me of Sene. Battle to protect the future. I think once I get to the boss, I'm gonna like, uh... I think I'm going to, um... Redo my gems on my, on my uh, characters. The, uh... This stuff right here. The one in the, in the uh, Tetris like blocks. Like the crystals. I'm not gonna let this game mislead me though. There have been times where, hey, you think you're near the end and you're not. Twenty unopened chests. Do attack jewel found. See a chest, let's unlock it. So how you doing today, bombshell boy? How's Mr. Beepop himself? Look inconspicuous. No, it's nothing. Killer shark jewel. I believe I. Sure. Let's get that killer shark up.
<coughs> oh no, a back attack. What will I ever do? Well, we gotta get Holy Light leveled up. Let's still do that. Oh, that was overkill. Good to know not to do that again. Ow. Nine inch hills, so I want to use that. Uh... Cross Splitter, I want that's a reference to Twilight. Sorrel. Do you enjoy Mario 64? I'm afraid of you be in bed, my dear. And that led to booty. That's what I guess. They go this way. Oh boy, this is. Oh, well, never mind. Suckers out. Why'd I do that? I waste the turn. Man, I'm hitting like a truck. Wind down watching Twitch to make me sleepy. Uh, that's why you're over here because I'm so boring, it'll make you fall asleep. Okay, got it. Plot, uh, plot, plot, plot. Sorrel's true intentions came out. Oh my god, that's a big ass freaking map. Experience bag. Nice. why I'm hitting like a freaking truck, man. I haven't done anything special. I'm only level 43. The last area, last time I did this, I did not hit this freaking hard. Oh, okay. That's different. No, I don't want to go there yet. I'm going to grab all the booty. Ability seed. It's over here. Another thing. What's up with all these recovery points? Usually a recovery point indicates it'll be a boost battle. Sine's, is Sine even live? 
Sydney's not even live. Nice try. Nice try, Sorrel. Nice try. The notification is fired off. Well, you know, you can go watch him. I don't care. You, you, he, he's got all the bells and whistles here. We're just here. I'm just. We're just chilled and quiet and serene, like a library. Cause you know it's a quiet place. You know the difference. You know uh, what me and you have in common when it comes to playing Mega Man games versus Cine. We don't use save states. Okay, this is sus. Fudge or the this looks like a body of a cute ram with a big cloud sword. This is gonna be different. I guess they dodged it. I'll take it. Focus one at a time, just like, you know, RPG Knowledge 101. Why did it hurt me? You are the bells and whistles. <laughs> not this hour. Not when I'm at work. I gotta be a little quiet. I think Sydney's got a lot more loud and rebunctious uh, alerts than I do. Although I've had some people say it gets a little too loud in your ears. Plan to add some new, a couple new. Uh, Sound effects down the road. <coughs> I tend to do that whenever I get a new tier of uh, new tier. Uh... Oh, is that what that does? It takes my BG, my uh, TP points away. Well, that's not I should probably hit him. These things have a shit ton of HP. Question mark spell there, I'm curious. Nice, good attack. I think 
think some of the numbers in here are very RNG. Gunnack. Oh, Nikita. Oh, you changed. That's right. I remember you saying you changed your name. Are you an incognito? Or you just feel like, hey, it's time for a name change. How are you doing? I'll give some shout outs after a minute after this. Well, Sorrel, you could have picked anywhere to hang out. You came over here. Hopefully, I can make you pass out. But don't drool on their pillows, okay? That's not very ladylike. I mean, despite this game having lagging voice numbers, I think this game would probably be on par with my second game in terms of, uh, I would say, in terms of quality. But of course, I don't know what engine Kemco used. <coughs> I drew where I want, or oh, whatever. You know what I mean. That's not very ladylike. <coughs> Of course, this game does, this game just has a good storytelling, but it doesn't have like that that cringe standout stuff. I know Cyril loved the first game with all the a guard who delays times. That's bloody brilliant. <laughs> now, if a British person is saying that, you know I did something right. Nice. Crit. Spells can crit. That's interesting. Okay, that hurt. Well, oh, come on. Alright, well. The only thing I hate about this game, there's no AoE healing. You gotta heal individually. I don't know, well... I'm amazed I haven't learned nothing yet that does that. Instead... You get... Items that... Look! It's a team, but that's that's just the, that pony member. You get stuff like, oh look, 4600 hit points. And... Let's see... One's 14,000. I don't even have nearly near that amount of hit points. Like, why is there no AoE healing in this game? It's so weird. The last game didn't have it either. I should probably heal this sometimes. So this has a, it, similar to my first game, it's a little bit of an item item uh, spanage. I mean, that's not really a bad feature. I mean, my first game is you just play as one character. It makes sense. Did you know I'd spam aliens? How nice is poison? He's about to die, but still nice as poison. I don't feel comfortable with that hip boots. Let's see. Physical damage will temper be reflected. Okay. That's okay. I got magic. I can fling spells too, you know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, with the allergies, yeah. How we doing? Oh my gosh, I can just imagine you just saying that. I don't know if I'm doing okay officially by uh, this coming Tuesday, depending if they're gonna screw me up the ass with my car repair.
Well, I think his stream alone, his stream isn't loud. I think his re his redeems are loud. That's the spirit. Haha. See, my my redeems are pretty loud. I mean, there's a couple. My now my clips are a whole different case, especially when it comes to Smash Bros. Speaking of. I'm going to be texting my friends tomorrow, and I think we're going to do a Smash Brothers this Thursday. I don't know 100%, but be sure to, if you want to see some good old Smash Brothers action, be sure to attend because those streams are rare for you as much as, because we all have lives, so we don't get a chance to hang out as much. boss fights here, do I have to kill these for a reason? More painful. Still nice. They gotta recover, they gotta recover their MP back up. So you got a hundred percent, uh, Mario, uh. Mario 64, you just do it with that, it was a casual play. Sorry, I wasn't much. I mean, I was lurking here and there in a couple streams. I think yours for a bit, but yeah, tonight was movie night, so we did a. We usually do movie night on Saturdays, but we did a movie night tonight, so. We had that going on. It was really fun. We watched Knives Out, a really good flick. It's like a clue who done it kind of movie. Physical damage will be reflected. Okay. Noted. I need you want me to fling spells at you. Yes, I've got spells I can fling. Flicker. I did like that the other day when the, oh the Kraken's lost Eiffel Tower. <laughs> She's like, no, we don't Eiffel Tower that. The one time she says no to Eiffel Tower, I love it. I just do it to bust your chops, because it's just fun. If I get timed out, totally get it. Oh! Oh shit, that's right. Oh, he's dead. Damn it. No, they're not dead. I got freaking lucky on that. Boss fights take way too long. Actually, I want to use... Where's that at? There's 
almost dead. Uh, I'll use a max jelly. I got plenty of them. Can't say no to jellies. So, Sorrel, did you thoroughly enjoy, uh, and Bombshell as well, did you thoroughly enjoy uh, seeing uh, the, the very first game I ever made? I mean, rough around the edges, but hey, I hope you had a good time watching it and got some good giggles out of it. Less media, not as mediocre as uh, this game, right? Because Kemco just makes these games up to wazoo, and they're very mediocre, but they are fun in terms of telling a good story. I'll say that much for sure. I should probably, I actually thought about doing in my my next game, making a talking cat as a party member. Because that was the biggest reason why I bought this game. Is, oh, there's a talking cat. I want it. Yeah. Don't touch it, it can be dangerous. Felix is right. Those monsters we defeat are created by former deities. Moreover, they must be infused with excessive magic. That's why I can sense the remaining hatred emanating from those jewels. That does sound dangerous. On the other hand, before she leaves here, are we thinking about I'm thinking Nadia? Indeed. Having exercised the magic, we can create these weapons from your remnants. With these, we at least got some kind of reward at dealing with those monsters. Where are you now? Okay, cool. Well, before we do that, we've got to do some shout outs. I said I was going to do something as soon as some people got in in here. Oh, lie down. No, you can't go any further than that. Just lie down, okay? Come on, please. Please lie down. Carry. No, don't. Do not make love. No, the you don't tell me what to do. I do what I want to do. That's off of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. Oh boy. We 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 we. Ooh, yeah! Can, Can somebody screenshot this? Uh, I uh. Actually, Sin. Now uh, we'll do now his famous Shinchan dance for everyone. I mean, not in front of everybody. I mean, they look at this a lot. A lot of the people. Oh, that wasn't a loud clip after all. Hey, Furnum, how you doing? Long time no see, brother. How you feeling? Uh, did you enjoy Sega fan stream? Oh, it does, but this looks pretty usable to me. I'll give it my shot and see how it works out. Crystal Baton. Oh, they just copied... <coughs> Basically just copied uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy IV. This could be the last area. I don't know. It looks much more my arsenal for the weapons, but just say it does look decent enough. I suppose it wouldn't hurt even a whirl. Crystal cutter. I like the sound of this engine. Yeah, a goth girl into chainsaws. That's legit. Uh, get a 75 cut to intelligence. Yeah, that's okay. I've been through there. So let's go down and around over here. Sorry, I gotta be up front in the morning. I just wanted to stop and say hi, I'm sick around and chat for a bit. Oh, that's fine. I missed you, man. 
I haven't seen Furnum forever. I mean, I know you have got a lot going on. It's like, I haven't seen Furnum forever in, in, in my streams. It's like, look at all this coming. I'm missing, man. He's usually the first guy here to tackle hug me. Now you gotta make me deal with sloppy seconds like with Sine. Can't do that to me, man. It's not allowed. It's like I thought at first, I mean, I haven't seen Furnum here for a week. Did I scare him off? <laughs> what did I do wrong? This is my face. I'm so sorry. Is there any more monsters? Yep. Let's go. Oh, look, they're big plant monsters. Nice. Well, we got a 100% tr trust gauge, so let's go ahead and uh, get that sucker up and going and unleash some hell. I deal with plant-based creatures. Hopefully they don't paralyze the crap out of me. Man, that was annoying in my first game project. I did not know there was... And tell me you love me? Wouldn't that be Zach's job? Gee, are you trying to be a dommy mommy over there? What the hell? Buy me a drink first. Shit. Thank you for the subscription. I like how it says Sorrel underscore Clay. I think I'm going to start calling you that from now on. Sorrel underscore Clay. You didn't have to do that, but thank you for the sub. Sorrel underscore Clay. <laughs> That's your new name. What's up, Miss Underscore? Get on your knees and tell me you love me. Was it the first level one or second one? I know Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I know that was from the... Uh... This has got to be the last dungeon I'm fighting these additional bosses. Similar to how Final Fantasy IV was, but wasn't yet, yeah, yeah, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. You should come join us for movie night one of these nights, Sorrel. We do them every week. We actually did a spin the wheel thing, because we couldn't decide what movie to watch next, so we spun the wheel, and next week we're watching uh, the Benchwarmers. And if you got movie suggestions for us to check out, you are welcome to throw them in the, into the pot. <coughs> Speaking, get on your knees, bow before me. Induces poison and paralysis. And. Induces poison, paralysis, and poison. Okay. That's legit. There we go. Come to daddy. Second movie. Okay. I haven't seen the second movie in a while. <clears throat> Have you seen the Christmas movie, uh, Almost Christmas? Oh, uh, that's all that does. Shit. That was a waste. Good to know. Um. 
That's a nice. I like how Overdrive moves and poison and stuff actually sticks on the bosses. But man, those plants that kept spamming sleep on my game project. That I was like, man, I made an annoying enemy. That's for sure. But I mean, I, I I know I do it in the second game. I make some deliberate annoying enemies. You know, it's a. <laughs> I was like, man, I made an asshole. Almost Christmas, it has Danny Glover in it. It's very funny. You would like it. If you like Christmas movies and you like comedy, then you will definitely like uh, Almost Christmas. Very, it's a very cute and adorable movie. Um, almost kind of reminds me of the movie uh, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Give the cookie now. Put the cookie I should make that a, a video review. Put the cookie down now! I had 300 followers not that long ago. If that number sticks, <coughs> I'll get, when I do a special stream on that, I'll have a couple new redeems up. I promise. that trust gauge build a faster. Or oh, there was an item to build a trust gauge faster. That would be nice too. Nope, not gonna do that again. That dot damage is not doing a whole lot of damage, but I guess it's something. Oh, Paralyze is wearing off. Gnome. I didn't do shit. Oh, I resisted it. Okay, I think Gnome's supposed to make me tiny, tiny. See that one? Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, I would, uh, it all adds up. What adds up to what? <coughs> what mathematical stuff are you trying to throw me with? Definitely, uh, I'd recommend, uh, you don't have to watch it during Christmas, I mean, it's a Christmas movie, but almost Christmas is, you'll get, uh, man, that's just, it, I got, you get some good laughs out of it. Go watch the trailer sometime, it's really funny. I've seen that movie at least two times. Okay, I better heal you up. You know, oh, yeah, that's true, all oh, adds up. I just figured, I know I... Oh, nice. They cast Revive. Isn't that lovely? If this is one of those fights where I gotta whittle them both down to zero hit points and then kill the other one fast, I'm not gonna even do this fight. I hate fights like that. Jeez Louise. Wish the poison would have hit a bit harder. I didn't do jack shit for damage either. Yeah, if this gets revived again, ow, then I'm just gonna like, this will be a hard reset. I, this, this is obviously a bonus fight. I don't think it's required to actually pass. Yeah, resurrection, fully resurrected. I don't know if it's one of those types of fights where you have to whittle them both down, then kill them both 
pretty much the exact same time. I. But that's a, that was like a really side bonus battle, not something like this. Uh, what game was it? Bravely Default did that, where you fought against the adventurer, and you had to kill. But here you did. But here's the here's the kicker with that game. They didn't have um. Um. They didn't, there was no HP bar, so you couldn't gauge when they were about to die. Which sucks. So you kind of had to guess it. If you didn't take them out at the same time, it would revive the other character. At full hit points. I will 100% agree that it, with monsters blows. Now, if it's a bonus bonus fight, like a really like end game like super end game content, then I can understand that being being a thing. But just straight up as a uh, like kind of uh, not as a deep side fight, then no. It's just these have a shit ton of hit points. Unless I just get lucky and land poison on him. I am not visiting Big Dusty tomorrow, so... Uh, because I just don't want to drive my car too much, and, and as minimally as possible. So... Uh, I'll be doing an After Dark stream from... Uh, Probably start, uh, not after our stream, we'll go into after dark, but I'll start from 8 and we'll go until about 2 in the morning, probably. Maybe 1 in the morning. I'll probably cut it off a little early because I want to, um, I want to get up early to go to the car place and get that taken care of and see how they're going to destroy my wallet. They do like you the pal, yeah. But here's the kicker with Paralyze in this game. If the enemy has two moves back to back, Paralyze only negates one of those two moves, which makes no sense. To me, I'm a bit old school. I would think, okay, Paralyze is Paralyze. No, I don't use that. This game, I mean, they've actually improved this game compared to the first game, so it's... No, I've been gnomed. No, gnomed away. No, have it. Uh, what gets rid of that? Miracle Grow. <laughs> Cures gnome. I like that pun. And like move, like regular moves have a have a chance of landing, um, paralyzed. But the overdrive moves, like this, the trust gauge down at the bottom, is almost a hundred percent guarantee. But it's also hard to land. Way too many. That's what we need. We need more of those criticals. No, I've been tiny again. I'm small like Sine. Actually, want to match the shell and destroy your head and pay it back up. Alright, it's almost dead. If it does this resurrection bullshit. We're done with this fight. I hate to waste time on that, but I'm not going to do a fight like that. That's just dumb. Yeah. It's one of those fights. You got to literally kill them both at the same time, so... Yep, we're going to return the title. We're just not going to do that fight. Not worth it. 
Hopefully, it's not one of those things, well, you should have, you needed to do this fight to do this thing. If that's the case, I think we're done as Divine Hearts, because that's bullshit. I know, but for purposes of stream, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not worth, it's not worth the effort. It's been a long time since I've seen that kind of mechanic been uh, done. This is right work in this game is cute. You, it is cute. It is It is based off a mobile game. Oh, I just said mobile. See what you did, Sorrel? Mobile. Uh, so because, hey, you got this stuff right here, this shop you can go into and spend gems that you can... You earn them in the game slowly, but you can also... Just get in-app store purchases. I mean, look at that. That just even screams app game. I mean, it even has this. <clears throat> uh, where is it at? Garden? Well, I can harvest these. But see how there's a timer ticking down? I could harvest now by using an accelerator, which you buy in that store, store place. Which, on the phone version, actually costs money. So it's got its pay-to-win bullshit. He's converting. No, I'm not converting. I just did that to, just to, to annoy you. That and the Kraken suck. <sighs> oh damn, they lost! Yay! Mega Man event? I can see it. <laughs> Thinking, you know, that challenge is almost filled up. I'm looking forward to that. Sword. No. Uh, let's see here. Get your specs. Oh, hello. Booty. Dual magic jewel. Like I guess I'm going to equip some new jewels when we get to the. F I think this is the final fight in the game. I don't know. Yet. Second place, we're gonna show you not suck. Now nah, you suck. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use a surreal excuse. Yes, they suck because I said so. LOL, emote. She has a home team of hockey uh, called the Krakens. It's her favorite team, and it's just I'm just like talking smack, saying her team sucks. So Sorrel, you, you, 
you you diss Castlevania 4 all the time, which, you know, this is rude. It hurts my feelings. Oh, there's something over here. That's right. Let's see what this bonus boss fight delivers. It's a big fat dragon. Right. I don't really do it. I don't mean anything just because I don't watch sports. Oh, we will play it. See, you know, LOL. Like, you know. Sorrel. This dragon's either gonna kick my ass, I've never liked fighting these things, or it's gonna just gonna rule ass, let's see. Yeah, you did, but you still did that point's mute, you still dissed it, which hurt my feelings. So how dare you? Just how dare. I want to keep attack down on this sucker. There's only one of these things, so he can't auto revive. Well, hoping. There we go, that's what we want. <clears throat> yeah, he gets two moves back to back. Ah, oh, yes, fuck. Dragon's cast on and revive. Oh god, please no. I mean, I have a fight like that in my game project, where in, uh, in uh, my second game project, when you fight the ultimate side boss, but it's two different forms. He just, re re he, he, one fight, you f fight him once, but he uses, he has two different uh, phases. So he just, like, he, he auto-revives himself at a certain point. See, he's paralyzed, but he gets two moves back to back. I know Dragons in Final Fantasy IV was awful. It's better than Castlevania. Okay, well, I'll give you that. Castlevania III does have its hard moments, but it's not a bad game. It doesn't, it doesn't have that stiff of control. Just saying. Oh, that fan made uh, Castlevania. Was it Castlevania 4 or Castlevania 3 game that they're making? That looks pretty cool. <coughs> and that. <coughs>
Mega Man X fan game looks really good too. I would totally play that. Alright, he's getting since he hits hard with that, let's get let's get uh let's get some skill honey there. Waiting for him to do like a stupid insane move. I wanna keep my hit points up. So is life starting to stabilize it for you again, Mr. Fernam? Fernam? So happy that uh, Sega got a level 5 hype train over that one game we was playing. That was really cool. It was also funny watching them compete against each other. I was like, it's not a competition. Who's giving more biddies and subs? Good. Oh, that's all it did? Okay, that's cool. That wasn't as murderous as I thought it would be. Nice critical. And I got some debuffs in. Why I just did that, screw that up. Shot my character, I appreciate that. I appreciate you doing that. Mega Man Le I never played Mega Man Legends. I heard it's a fun game. Never played it. Yeah. He's a talented guy. I don't I've never had a hype train happen. I've had an almost hype train happen, but it's never actually happened. Uh, it's because of that hyper armor, isn't it? Metal slash it. Alright, let's try this. Nice! Dropped a big ass rock. He also learns it. Nice. Now, Killed me, so I guess I gotta get my skill skill back up. I don't want to use that. Let's save that for a rainy day. All right, just five skill bars. Let's go. I feel this is the final area. Nice, extra damage, we'll take it. Yeah, he's still got that physical shield up. Ow. Worst reward for beating the game? I'm now color me intrigued. What is that reward, quote unquote? Oh, that's fine. It's kind of like a, paying homage to something like that. I'm okay with that. I mean, you've already beaten the game. It's 
not like uh, with uh, beating Dead Space 2 where you beat on the hardest difficulty, you get like a one-shot move. Yeah, she would. Well, have you seen that fan base fan uh, fan base game they're making? It's like ten years in the works, but it looks really good. It's supposed to be kind of open world. I never played Mega Man Legends. I'd be curious of playing it someday. That was for the PlayStation, wasn't it? I just wanted to redo it. I understand Legends 2 failed. Legends 2 failed? Why is that? They gonna come back after X7 and still make funny there. Fine. Absolutely. So why was it considered garbage? Just like people just didn't... Just like the mass majority didn't like it or it just didn't make good sales. Now leave it to us. Thank you. Crystal Sword, doubly named. Alright. That dragon wasn't too bad. It's, it's weird. I, I ran the dragons in this game, and man, they had the nasty. I'm gonna definitely boost up. Intelligence plus 12. Eh, hey, too bad. Alright, really? Let's go to the other portal and see where it leads us. I don't know, maybe I'll get a level 1 hype chain from playing Mega Man X6, or 7, I'm sorry. I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with Holy Diver. That would be cool. I have me in tears if I have the hype train ever went off. Be like, holy crap! There's a hype train for once. I've never seen that before. Ooh, woo! All right, brand new map. Oh boy! This area screams Final Dungeon. I want to say. <coughs> I mean, I could be wrong. Yeah, I mean, I would like to play Mega Man Legends someday. I mean, I've got two retro games pending right now. Furnum's pick, because Lamak just loves him so damn much. I get to play another, hopefully it ain't crappy, uh, and, uh, Star Wars game. Can't be as bad as the second one, I know the second one was the worst of the three. And then I've got 
Lightning Edge, he picked, uh, which I already got it downloaded and ready to go. That's uh, Hercules. For the PS2. So you just sit down and relax on Twitch. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing like you watch particularly like a, a movie or something on YouTube or anything like that, Sorrel. You just, I'm gonna guess there's nothing on TV at this angle, so. I guess that makes sense, you know, going to YouTube or not, or to Twitch and harass somebody until you calm down. Wonder, probably not, but let's see. I have a feeling this is the final area in this game. Crystal dress. Oh yeah, I feel this is the final area. Look at that crystal dress. Look at that stat upgrade. I guess you get a crystal dress too. Yeah, they're call calling everything this all items crystals and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're ripping off Final Fantasy 4 because 4 had the same thing. Took a bunch of things out of Legends 2 that made Legends 1 fun, especially when the open world exploration aspect instead of making it more of a dungeon going to me. Too many trains, I hope Mega Man never has to f has another train again. Well, it has a ton of tr like train levels in uh, Legends 2. I... We might be just tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Could be. I mean, it's just, it's just the way this area is just screaming final area. Because this, this is doing the same thing Final Fantasy IV did. Well, Capcom still makes Mega Man. If they came out with Mega Man 11, I still have to play 7, 9, no wait, I have to play, I still got, I haven't played 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. I've seen a little bit of a Let's Play on it. But I never played uh, I never played it. But I'm pretty sure Sane down the road will redeem it. I think him and Bombshell and a couple others, like, you know what? He's got to get to Mega Man X7 first. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take Sane's word. I mean, I know he's a bit biased when it comes to uh, those games, but I'm going to take his word for it and say, hey, it's, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I'm crossing my fingers. But it's mad. I tell you, X6. That, was, that game was stressful. It was like, it was, I mean, it's, it's easy yet hard because they're pretty forgivable when you get killed. But at the same time, it's just, especially that last level before the finale, my god. I don't want to ever see a freaking totem in my life ever again. Fuck that shit. I'm so glad Lightning Edge actually had made, he made a clip of him passing that jump. That's why I did a surprise stream for Mega Man X6, because I'm like, okay. Before I got past that jump, I'm at that area, I'm saved, let's go. I even told Sane like two other people. And that, that was, it, like, Mega Man just tracks people. That was the, one of the biggest streams I think I ever had.
Oh, you travel in chains. Oh, that's cool. Was well, it just over redundant? There's a teleporter over there, which probably leads to more armor. Iron chainsaw plus 45. Is that any better than what I've got? What a weird number. Plus four. Nope. It's kind of garbage. It kills my intellect. I do not want to lose intellect. She is a spellcaster. Getting to the end of this area is all going to depend on how many combat f how many combats I get. <clears throat> How long is Mega Man Legends? That's a good item. So that's the game you still want me to play, right? Super Star Wars? Fernam? Uh, oh, no. That's, that's okay. Oh, those are sparkly fairies. Elegant Sif. It's not just a Sif. You could have, what, you two conspire and send DMs to each other? Hey, you know, Lamak, I don't have enough points. Can you, you know, hey, pick this for me? Is that what happened? myself possibly beating this tonight because depending on the final boss uh, but I, I see this being done in, within the next week crystal armor that would go to you Zach I guess that goes to you. Cat wearing crystal armor. That's legit. Yeah, that's not as good as the. Hello, Salty. Not to mention we get delays like that, too. Hello, my Star Wars buddy. How are you? Gonna get to an island.
What are you trying to do in this clip? Oh, I'm you using a hook. hook. I'm not fishing. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, you know, I won't argue oh, that. Oh, I was an idiot there. Oh my god, dude. Okay, well, I won't argue that. You know, you're not wrong. Give, give the guy a round of applause That's for trying, cool. though. That's Fallen Order? Oh man, that was a good game. I lied. You saw me stream it. <clears throat> and that's how I met Mr. Salty here. He's like, I'm gonna raid this guy. <laughs> that's how I that's how I, I met Salty. He was playing the same game I was playing. Country ball plus twenty-six. Than the kindness of his heart. Oh, okay. He just couldn't think of something. Oh, Lamox a cool dude. I'm not fighting the dragon. No! Let's do escape. Bye. Those are just not worth killing. Besides, we're gonna kill one big Durgan. Grand Baton. I don't think that's better than what I've got. I mean, it adds more MP, but it kills the attack. What? They really did. I don't feel like they were very creative with this dungeon. Big ass fat X. I mean, come on. Even on the screen. <laughs> yeah, it eats the whole screen. It's pretty freaking huge. And I don't have the stream cut off or borders or nothing. It's just that freaking big of a sprite. Then again, mediocre game, so you know. But it's not a bad game. I'm having fun with it, and I'm enjoying talking to you guys. Thief Jewel. Yep, we've been down all corners. This is my only biggest qualm in like, like in the last last game. Like you get. You're just better off either using healing items or... <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Because, like, and they don't, there's no AoE items or spells or abilities, which makes no freaking sense to me in this game. It really doesn't. I mean, they improved the combat system. The, the graphics got a nice good touch-up. The, goo the, the GUI is good. I mean, the graphics, graphics unit interface, I mean, they improved a lot in this game versus the first one. I just don't. There's AoE skills, but there's no AoE healing. The last game didn't have that either. And sometimes I really needed an AoE heal. Wasn't even funny. Okay. What is it this time? The jewel to me, low and powerful magic at that. This could be our dis this could turn to our disadvantage or in the wrong hands. I believe it's best used here. If the jewel I managed to create this portal, now we'll be able to warp the entrance to this place. Nice thing. Mm -hmm. A little more thanks wouldn't hurt you now. Good job finding that, Pugsley. You really helped us out. You. Hey, I was the one who created the portal, so where's my thanks? <laughs>
Uh, maybe, but why make items that restore 25,000 hit points to a party member when your, your hit points aren't even that go at that high? Um, I mean, I I think when I played, I mean, it's on my YouTube ch uh, channel, Fernand, but uh, when I played As Divine Hearts uh, a couple years back, I mean, I ended up turning the difficulty easy because you went into one fight, the boss had two uh, had two attacks back to back. He always did an AOE, and he always did another move. Sometimes it would inflict paralyzed. I'm like, and I just couldn't. And he went. He got even with even with buffs and stuff. He went constantly on the initiative, and just and he did the same move over and over and over, and just wrecked my point where I needed AOE healing. Um, I think. The goth girl had an AOE, but she was the only one, it was, and it wasn't very potent. It was like, heal 500 hit points. And I was like, at that point, that's just a band-aid. I'm like, I need something more powerful than this. So I just like, screwed. I just put it on in easy mode. All it did was just reduce the uh, damage taken in. Uh, so, and you dealt more damage than the enemies. But at that point, I was close to near the end, and there was no achievement, so I was like, I don't care. I'm positive and played to. Oh, yeah, they probably didn't. It's, it's a Chemco game. Yeah, yeah, thanks to Felix. You don't even need it. That pineapple head had better watch out because the next time we stay in an inn, I'm going to put whipping cream in his hand and tickle his nose while he's sleeping. <laughs> no doubt that cat is planning something. I guess I'll just stick to sick naughty on Felix to try if he tries to pull anything. Uh, the, 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 the humor in this game is adorable. I mean, look, I got heal two, heal one, and then heal three, but it doesn't do, it doesn't do an AoE heal. It sucks! Quote, quote, yeah, I've you search on the Steam store page. There's a ton of them on there, but I I enjoyed the first As Divine Heart. I'm not playing the game for its gameplay. I don't mind if I play it on easy if I had to at a certain point. I don't feel bad about that because this was a phone game to begin with. But the story is good. I like the story. I'm getting a I mean, you've you've seen how how witty their writing is. I like that kind of I like that kind of storytelling. It's cute. My games incorporate some of that kind of stuff. I think the third game does the most with the um, insults and stuff, though. Alright, we're at, I think this is the end, so what we're gonna do... Let's see here. Let's look at this, because I don't... Let's just remove all. Now let's go ahead and set these, because... Deals damage dealt from normal accounts when supported when supported if both team members have the same jewelry. I don't have two of these though. So that's a pointless thing. That would be useful for her. Okay, that could be useful. The team uses microburst for a trust charge. Eh. I don't need an item drop. Reduce MP consumption's nice. That would be more for Felix. I 
that's how you rotate it. Okay. Alright. That's also useful. Divide the damage in order to attack the four heads. That might be useful. When the team defeats a target one more time, 50%. Nah. Uh, Changing attacks after your opponent or other than partner. Oh, okay. That would actually be nice. Yeah, but see, I would want strength. Hold on. Alright, darn. Give me a sec, I gotta plan this out. Alright. I'm not used to the buttons on this. Uh, gotta get me. Oh man, you have a great night, man. And maybe I'll see you tomorrow night. You have a great night, and uh, cause I'll be streaming tomorrow night around eight. So hang out and catch up, man. And maybe I'll catch another stream as well. So sleep well, and you know, say hello to the lady for me. Ooh, ooh, woo. Strength of right. perfect, okay. Perfect. Not too worried about hit points. You know what, Para paralysis would be nice to be able to block. Okay, cool. Right, let's go do her next. See, in the first game, you had to like upgrade your uh, Rubik's. In this one, it's, it's just a standard thing. Good talking to you too, man. You have a great night. You know what? Hey, got to give you a round of applause. There you go, Fernum. You have a great night, and I hope to see you tomorrow, man. Stay out of trouble. Well, what do I say? Don't stay out of trouble. Stay in trouble. Coming in clutch. She uses strength, so we'll give her that one. I'm gonna give that to what's her face. She uses speed, so Okay, that'd be nice to have for... Okay. I would like that attack. Alright. Alright. 
right, let's see. I think this is the final fight. I know I could be wrong. Though. Oh shoot! I forgot about that. Let me go back to her. I forgot about the buddy jewel at it. Okay. Cause she uses buddies. Where's that buddy jewel at? Get rid of this one. hers. She uses MP too, so actually I don't almost save that for put that there. I have her counter. Follow Jewel would be nice. Put that in there too. I haven't messed with this until I got to the end of the game. I think this is the end of the game, so that's the only reason why I'm doing all this. We're gonna give her the we're gonna give Uriel the intellect up one. Because she's like a primary spellcaster. She's also a, a, a hard hitter. Oh, let me do that. Alright. Alright, now let's take care of... Let's take care of the kitty cat. Let's take care of Felix. And let's first find that one that gives... Yeah, I want that because he uses spells a lot, or she uses spells a lot. Yeah, we don't care for skill gauge. Okay, 
Where's that intelligence one? There it is. I feel like I'm playing Tetris, you know? Alright. Multi-use? Okay, so you can stack this. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. It's got one person left, and then we can go to the fight itself. Sorry for the delay. Skills don't consume MP at all. That's nice. Seems not done yet. Let's see here. Yep, let's go do this. Increases maximum MK, so we want you. Let me see. Yep. <clears throat> I've been harvesting these things forever. Give that all the Zach, because we want to. Okay. Woo. Intelligent fruit, that would be you and the, these two. Let's go bounce back and forth between these guys. I've been harvesting these things forever. Intelligent seed. I think we're good. Let's say one more time. And then I want to go into records. Not records, but other statuses. Wow, look at her intelligence. This <laughs> skyrocketing. Life seed found. What's over here? Well, I don't know yet. Let's use a thingamajig. Oh, 
Oh, it's down there, you sussy bucker. Jelly Pilsen. The story quest has been completed. Yep, this is the end of it. It's the former deity. Is everybody ready for this? Let's end the reign of terror. I'm impressed you haven't made it this far. Are you now? Are you that impressed? Are you? You seem, you, it seems you self-professed deities of this generation are more resourceful than we imagined. Oh uh, yeah, we're, the, we're millennial deities. We also thank you for coming to deliver this very magic we desire. However, is, is, however, is this not more opportune than ever? We have two prodigies here with them as well. By stripping them of their magic, it will be enough to regain our former bodies. An excellent point. Then I shall finally be eliminated from this mortal frame and be able to make the end of you. Ha ha ha, what tomfoolery is this? Is it I who shall destroy you? Hate to ruin your party, but you've been going nowhere with those plans of yours. Well, as long as you, as long as we have anything to do with it, that is. Oh, and you think you can defeat us? The humors of you humans is beyond belief. As sad as it is to say, we already experienced dealing with uh, sourpuss deities. You're just another two of them. Such insolence for a human has no real powers of her own. Do not be... Well, so basically... Oh, they're combined together. Okay. Do not be overly hasty to act. You've always been one to misjudge the situation. Instead, let's deal with them one by one as we crush their resolve. It appears the last guest has arrived. Guest. Alessa, what are you doing here? I hitched a ride on your flying pugwort. You didn't think you could really pull the wool over my eyes, did you? Alyssa. After being lied to by the adults in the past, I knew you were trying to do the same. You intended to defeat Claudius in order to save the world, didn't you? <coughs> you know. If you knew all along, there's nothing we do to hide the fact any longer, but I want you to listen to Alyssa. His soul no longer exists in this world. <coughs> yes, it does. He's my lover. I know it, I know it, because Claudius is still there. Let me go to him, and I'll take him back. Do not be a fool. I shall not allow you to do with this high priestess as you desire, or do you intend to, to say she agrees with you? No, this is my own will. I ask you to please trust me. Alyssa. I'm sorry, Alyssa. You know what to do, Stella. Leave it to me. Let me go. Claudius, Claudius! I'll time tie you later, but now you have to stay put. I like it just throws a rope. <laughs> That's funny.
Hello. Sorella, are you still there? I have a question to ask. Just because these two are old doesn't mean they're not deities. We must combine our efforts to attack them if we intend to prevail. Therefore, we must rely on support attacks to use the micro which is going to deal greater damage. Everyone get that? Sure did. Now what do you say to end these two? Are you finished your meeting this banter? At first, I thought you were prey on the human girl's magic. I realized it would provide a mere taste of what's to be a magnificent feast. I decided to forbear and save it for last. The rest of you, it's time to become our substance. Let's end this once and for all. Wow, it... Kind of reminds me of the Kefka Tower stuff. From uh, Final Fantasy VI, kinda. Proto Lumis. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna take care of the front first. the background. Yeah, this is definitely the final flag. Yeah, oh, damage. too many hit points. The only thing I don't like about this Well, they don't do this revive crap. They do that revive shit. I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. Uh, okay, healing's one thing, that's fine. focus on her because she looks like she's a healer. And usually you want to take that's just that's this RPG 101, you know, take out the healer. I like the music. This is a really cool looking boss. I like the design. Perimeter reducing effects. Okay. That's fine. No, it's not, that's not, I'm thinking of Benediction. Do that, because I don't want that stupid shit going on. Oh, the skeleton dude goes next, so let's go ahead and heal. Glad I equipped those jewels. <laughs>
I don't think she has any pain in this right now. She's pure, she's pure dark magic. That's fine. I've got plenty. Yeah, this is a party wipe, then. Plus, I got these, too. So, there you go. Forgot I loaded up on those all that gold I used. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Once one of these go down, then we'll be good to go. A revive item up. There's my revive. Oh, there they are. I'm okay with an MP absorb. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can't do any skills? Oh, Gnome can't do any skills. That sucks. Well, I know they can't do anything. Shit. I gotta get Gnome off his ass. I did a super move, didn't I? That's nice. Well, if we wipe, I'm just gonna put the difficulty easy because we're ready to wrap this journey up, aren't we? I no achievements from this game, so. That really sucks. He, they did some super move and killed me. I'm gonna wipe. That sucks. This, I believe, is a wipe. Which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. And I had to do this in the last game because the enemy was just beating the shit out of me, and it wasn't even funny. Oh, that's what that does. Okay. That's cool. That's handy. I mean, 
in the face. This, this first attempt, monster's almost dead, assuming... Oh, see, we do have a restore all, but that's just so rare to have right there. Like I said, this game would have been nice if it had an AoE move for healing. Who goes next on the initiative? She don't have enough for it. No, nope, I don't want to take that risk and lose them, so. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here. Full throttle. Fully restored. That's nice. Including swoon. Also, oh, that's like an, oh, that's like the 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 best of the holies of holies. This is a stat down. I <laughs> one shot at her. God damn it. The one character I needed to do my buffs on, and you kill her. Get her back up. Jesus. One shot the one character I was. Damn it. She has that buff to speed everybody up. But it doesn't help if you're gonna one shot her. So now. I don't show.
Alright, we're back. I think we just got... I don't know if you all heard that comment, so yeah, I'm at work, so... i deal with that occasionally. Oh, that's right, I wanted to heal her. Now, can I get my skill up so I can... That thing's almost dead. You got a perimeter up, so you gotta go down. Now, let's try this again with finesse and do not take don't take her out. Defeat a fake god. Poison can be landed on him if I ever get my trust gauge back up. So the trust gauge moves massively slow against bosses, but against enemies it moves decently fast, so I don't understand that. So hurry faster, faster. Got some buffs and speeds. This is not an easy fight. I don't have BG for I don't have MP either, shit. Let's do this. Uh, I hate to do that because... Let's do that and then we'll start MP on him. Does anyone have a stat up? No. So we could do something here. Just speed down. Let's do that. This is an intense, serious fight. <laughs> Good, thank you. I was 
going to stop around three, but since this is the final fight, which I'm pretty sure it is. I can actually do some shit to these guys. About time. Nice. What does that do? That hurts like a motherfucker. Nice. That's probably when I want to use my over. Damn, that's so nice. Cool. Cool story. It's almost dead. Right, what does the massive feel? That's just a single team. Wish I had more of these, but I don't. You just take out one of those things, like the front one. I'll focus on whatever's the lowest afterwards. That one's almost dead. Alright. Please die. Yes, he's out. Those who are hanging out, welcome on in. Aw, oh, come on. Really, you do a move that takes everyone's hit points to one, and then you get a move back to back. My god, that is the dumbest shit. That's the case. That's that's his ultimate cheesiness. And I don't have a s I have no choice, I gotta do something that Okay, we'll do this. Oh, why did I just do 2,000? I'm an idiot. Okay, well, that's okay. Well, probably some, let's get rid of that dragon next. That's neat. That needs to go down. This is going to suck if this is a party wipe, though. Yeah, we got to get you back up. Do that stupid massive nastiness constantly, I think we'll be okay. I dropped down the one HP bullshit. That one's almost dead. It's definitely an intense fight, hang on.
I'm hoping poison's gonna stick on it. That's what I want. Cool. Shadow Mess, get rid of those perimeters. Right. Everybody else is okay. Good. Get that speed down. That's what we need. That speed down needs to kick in. Shit, Stone's not good. He gets hit once it takes him out, so we gotta fix that. We will fix that right now. Uh, what fixes Stone? Cure Stone, yep, yeah, that's what Stone is. Yeah, don't, we don't want that. Get rid of that. Faster, faster. We're gonna get a couple moves back to back, so we need to, we need to either do a heal up or something. I can't believe I think I get the next attack. That's cool. I'll take it. I also use that as my highest hearting move, hitting move. I just don't trust myself with Uriel and Nadia being at the HP, so I'm gonna kill him up. I'm glad I put those regen gems on them. Stats down, I'll take that. Sure. Debuffs are good. Debuffs are good against the enemy. Splitter, because he's almost dead. Alright, he's down. Two to go. Nice. Oh shit, is that the one that... Oh, damn. There it is. Okay, we don't need to use the a all heal move. I don't think we gotta do that.
nice. Just focus on him. We're probably gonna lose. That magic that I knew it. I knew they were gonna hit them. That's a glorious RNG. We just lost a good chunk of that. Yeah, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's see, revive gummy. Get back up. I should have labeled this as Penal, but since I didn't know I was gonna be at the end of this. <laughs> Things back. I didn't regret doing that. Okay, not bad. That regen is really good, so that actually helps. Let's take this asshole out. He needs to go. Actually, since that she hits pretty hard with that. One's gonna be a secondary form. Oh no, not that move. You know, I've got enough. I I I can burn another one. I think those numbers are asking off like crazy. All right, he's out. I need to use skills. So find out where a lockpick gets rid of stone status. That's so funny.
Yeah, it's the final boss, I think, and this one's taking a forever to whittle down on hit points, because I'm not sure what his weakness is. Oh, he does fucking shit! There's probably not even a guy for this fight. There's obviously a seeker to it. At least he's not having a restore ability. Okay, well, maybe I'm supposed to... Well... Alright, let's see if this works. How you doing, Bacon? It's Bacon! You at work, bruh? Okay, that does damage. But hardly. <laughs> Three damage, they don't do shit. It's been a while, but once I start typing, I get distracted. Oh! You don't do announcing you're lurking. As long as you don't get quote unquote offended. Oh, I've been here. How dare you, CJ? Well, you never said hi, and I don't look at the chat list. Always good to have a celebrity keep me company, man. Thank you. to do to hurt this guy they told me I need to use a combination of this this and this which I've been doing and all the other enemies have been taking damage extra damage doesn't do anything there's got to be a secret to this and I don't know what it is yeah she streamed today too Supposed to put poison on this bitch? Oh, poison did something. Ah, oh, god dang it! Not that move. Oh, that's a that's that's white out there. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is just put just spam bio bottle on this bitch? It's not doing anything. Bio bubble that actually hit a shit ton of damage. Am I supposed to like guess what the G spot is for each attack? No, that's this time it's not doing anything. Okay, well. Get poison on him, then there you go. I really don't know what you're supposed to do. Extra damage to you. I don't. There's a mechanic to this fight. And I doubt there's a walkthrough for this, because this is one of those games where it says there's no walkthrough for it. I wish there was a way to get that. There you go, there's a good chunk of that. See, I don't know what, that's so RNG though. Music's pretty good though, I like the music. Well, that stone boot I was using earlier was hitting like a son of a bitch. You at work? Extra damage, too. <laughs> Critical hit, maybe. Okay, well, that doesn't do anything. This is a really annoying fight. For a mediocre RPG, yeah, it has a really good music soundtrack. Okay. 
Now we get my skill honey back. Get BG up, which. Oh, cool, I get five moves in a row? I like that. Why he doesn't have a regeneration move. If he does, that's gonna suck balls. I must. I may have to look up a guide for this. See, I, that's so RNG though. I don't know what I'm doing to trigger that. This fight is ridiculous. I mean, I, I think that's my biggest complaint. That's like almost every boss fight has been like that, where the fight just drags out insanely. And I'm not like, and it's not, it's not like I'm under leveled. I'm hitting the enemy hard. They just got a crap ton of hit points. What is this dude's name? Um, uh, former Progeny. Former and P R O G E N Y. He had five other f five other things attached to him, like you know how Kefka is in Final Fantasy. But once you take that out, you're good to go. Which that I and those took decent damage. Poison on him. No, I don't want to do that. I need a heal. Actually, he's at his spells more potent. doing no damage to this guy. It's like, it's just random as hell. There's probably not a walkthrough for this. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Maybe you're right, yeah. There's no tactic to it. Let me see. Does the forms have anything about this? I doubt they do, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I might just consider this game completed because this is ridiculous. I'm not going to spend... There's a there's obviously a gimmick or mechanic to the fight, but I don't know what it is. I mean, it, it lists... It listed, you know, you got to do this, this, and this, which I have been rotating and doing different kinds of things. It almost feels like it's one of these bosses where I got to find the G spot for every attack, and it's ridiculous. Okay, so what am I? Is he rotating between different attacks on this final form? Okay, well, I found a walkthrough. Hold on. Nope, they don't give me anything. <sighs> that sucks. I mean, I want to finish this fight, but... I'm not going to, this is, there's a mechanic, and it sucks. And it sucks, this is one of those games where you just don't have a walkthrough, and. I appreciate it. I'm uh, probably going to call it a night on this and just consider this game finished. I'm going to consider this game finished. So. Give my computer a second. I forget when I close up one browser, it wants to lock up. I appreciate the help, Bacon. It sucks. I was hoping for a credit roll tonight, but it's almost three. It's three thirty, and I've been on this fight for almost an hour. And I'm gonna give this game a thumbs heavy down on Steam because, I mean, there's, and the, it gives me one hit, and I do every. I mean, the enemies were all taking normal damage, you know, except for him. And then when I finally get to him, he's just not taking shit. He's not taking any damage, and I'm waiting for my web browser just to uh, let me do, click on the damn thing. I don't understand why Twitch has this problem with Firefox. He's hardly doing any damage to the guy, though, too. <laughs> and I can't give a comment say ask him a question because he turns off comments. I can change the difficulty easy, but I'm just going to consider this game finished. And I'm going to add this to my list because this is this is game breaking. And it sucks because the final boss in the last game didn't have him. He was a long boss, but he didn't have a mechanic to where you're supposed to hit certain things. I'm doing, he's not hurting me too much, but I'm doing nothing to him. I'm, I'm. Yeah, he's doing 240. So it's all RNG.
He's more leveled up than I am, too. Bust your head, which is only a level four skill. And it does 50,000 damage. This is fucking random as hell. Yeah, I don't know what he's just doing random attacks. Yeah, I just gotta. This, this is all RNG. It is simply RNG. It's fucking dumb. And it really sucks, though, because I really enjoyed this game with the story and all that. Critical hit, 55 points of damage. I mean, I get if he uses an ability that changes like a reflect move, kind of like that one boss does in, um... Uh, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, in, uh, the Tower of Zozo in Final Fantasy, the Mage Master. Him. Fight's not a hard fight, it's just, I mean, I know I can beat this fight, but this is ridiculous. Done. I'm not gonna do a fight that's gonna be this stupidly ridiculous. You got stat buffs down, and it's ridiculous, man. See, now I did 12,000 points of damage. Okay, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I mean, so support jobs not supposed to do anything. Okay, I've got an idea here. Let's see, needle spike and just... Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I think we found the G spot. I think we found it. I don't know. Let's see about Mage Master and just do. That's the secret. Okay, you're supposed to use your support job. They said I had to use a combination. So that's just poorly written. That's poorly written. I'm sorry. Now we're actually doing actual damage to him. Hey, Antares. 
Yeah, it's it's poor. It's really poorly explained. Like, oh, you're supposed to like. That's the mechanic to this, I think. I've been on this boss for an hour, a little over an hour, and it's just it's uh, what's that called? Uh, what's that? It's not called a standstill. Impasse. That's the word I'm looking for. So if I do cross glitter, and I just tell him to do this. Yeah, it does a lot more damage. Okay. That's the idea, is I can't have the other person do a different move. Okay, I need to get shit for damage. I think we got it, I think. I think. 13 points of damage. How you doing, Antares? You're up late, my friend. How are you doing? Might as well go all out, but ah. Uh... So, Bacon, when's your next uh, stream? I haven't streamed in a while, man. Well, hopefully, life ain't kicking your ass too much. Now the gauge is going up much faster. Because, yeah, you know, anything I do, is the support goes up for the attack. Okay. Come on, that poison needs to stick. Speed right down. Intelligence works. All right. Yeah, he's he's going down now. Okay, so that's the secret. That is bullshit. That's such bullshit. Can you agree? I mean, come on. That's what I'm supposed to do to take him out. That's the G spot. So basically, unless we combine our things together, it does nothing for damage. Asshole. You're an asshole. Use my AoEs, I get. Oh, cool, poison stuck. Thank you. Take that 999 damage, bitch. Basically, you just combine. So, if you do your two separate attacks, it does nothing. Break doesn't do jack fucking shit for damage. I love it. Yeah, I figured it out. Yep. What do you have to do? My PC had to update. Why? Why'd you reboot your computer? You could have hold that off. I guess you'll have to watch the VOD. I'm kidding. I'll show you. <laughs> so basically you're supposed to use a skill or an ability and then tell your party don't use an item don't use a skill for your secondary part moment. you just you know go along with what they're doing you can buy it boosts your attack which I, that's, I know that's what does that, that that's what it does but it's not that significant sometimes it is but it's not that significant to where if you use an ability instead, it's it's more damage on enemies and bosses. This one's the exception. So boom, it increases the support and boom, does damage. 
That's a bunch of donkey duke. I almost party wiped a couple times early because he had like five different other forms and that was rough. Yeah, he's taking damage. He's gonna go down some. Take it like the bitch you are, fudger. Actually, I should probably heal. That's what you're supposed to do. Doing okay, just glad to have my mom back on. Oh, how'd it go? How did her therapy go? Oh, really? They have it set up that way. Well, that's dumb. Wait, you're, I thought you were watching on your phone. Bacon watching on the work computers. Boy, aren't you just a bad boy. Strength increased by sub support, so that's the trick to it. Who would have fucking known? So I was trying everything, but I didn't. I wasn't doing combined attacks very. I mean, the the second for your sub, the sub support job. I wasn't. I wasn't doing. Um, I wasn't doing this right here. The the horn one. I don't know what it's called. Support, basically. I guess that's what it's called. Fucking go down, you bitch. Finally! No! This cannot be! As before, you only stood in my way and now die and I will finish him off by myself. Ooh! What are you saying? You're more useless than a rock. It is you who must die. Oh, they're arguing against each other. You're in Buffer City. That's not good. You mean for my stream? I don't have a GG command, not yet, but if you want to give me a GG, you can do exclamation point clap. I'll hear you no more. Now give me your paw. There we go. Yeah, see, my version of that is clap when well, you guys have applause. A whopping four people are going to see a credit roll. I can't believe they're fighting over such insignificant amount of magic. This is an embarrassment to watch. Zach, put them out of their misery. Yeah, I hear you. What are you doing? No. Can this be? We are deities. Sorry, but your ge your generation, your last generation's model. Ouch! That's a burn. Oh, VPN does. I've noticed. I, I, when I've turned on my VPN, I've noticed it's not very effective using Discord chat or um um uh, Twitch and YouTube. I know, or if I like, if I upload something to the VPN, he uploads a lot slower. So yeah, there's that. Claudius, Claudius, Claudius. Now, yeah, Claudius is. There's no soul within his physical body. No matter how much she calls out for him, she will receive no response. Claudius, Claudius. Look, Alyssa is with no more reason to remain in this world. Her soul is trying to leave Selene's body. Nadia, send her to the other side, as you wish. Alyssa. Huh? Where did that voice come from? Claudius! 
and now they'll be happy together. Celine! Celine Gomez! No, that's not her name in this. Once again, another crisis of very unknown beyond the same inhabitants of both as divine as parallel worlds. And while many of these same people were sad in the sudden disappearance of snow, they had come to love and enjoy. Along with it vanished the memory of the grave threat their worlds had faced. This was shorter again than the other one. And... Gutenberg City. Star, oh, Star Festival, finally. Get your barbecue Gutenberg wieners while they're hot. Only 100 gold each. Then you can guess what happened. The storm subsided, the night and the clear night sky could be seen of shining stars. Something could be, say, it could be the tower I'm on, my reception. Anything else is bad. That's weird. You're downloading quick. What about uploading? Uploading's bad too? It was through Alyssa's prayer our world has been, was saved. Alyssa was amazing. <laughs> Tell us this, her story again. Mary Oliver, it's time that we'd be returning to. Would you look at this beautiful bracelet? I think I'll send this to Stella too. Oh, he's still obsessed about Stella. Mayor, how many gifts do you tend to give her? <laughs> And we find these Orcus tarts here for sale today. Buy one for 150 gold or get a discount two for 250. That's not a bad deal. I want to try these next. Just hurry up and buy me some. Oh dear, did you not promise me you would only ask for three kinds if I brought you here? How many have you had? Not enough. But I want to eat some. Please, please, please. I'm sorry to say this, but you're acting like a child and are in need of some discipline. No, no, she's heated her to the water. Ooh, now that's taken care of. Excuse me, I'll take, I'll take two. Wow. There are so many people here, it's making my head spin. Woof. Sorry, but the, sorry there, but I'm not carrying a food on me. Light progeny. What, is that you, Shaddai? I have come to inform you the former deity souls are no more. Therefore, since Shaddai is like the higher, is the original deity god that, you know, retired and made other deities, which is the cat, Nadia. Therefore, no matter what happens in the future, there will never be a threat again. That's good to hear. Should I? I also came to thank you for what you did in order to save our cello and as divine. I'm hearing things, or did you really just thank me, Wimpers? I guess he's gone, huh? At least he could have done is stayed and enjoyed the festival. Woof. Ah, he's retired, deity. He doesn't need to do that. Oh, but this isn't Zach. Is this where you've been? Shannon! I mean, Miss Heimert. Zach! Whoa, haven't you grown some? Yeah, you know it. Stella and the others were looking for you as the high priestess is about to begin her part of the play. You might let them know where you are. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll see the rest of you around later, huh? Okay, we came in here some more about your adventures. Carried by the light, we were born in this world and embraced by shadow, we are taken from it. As one life ends, journey here, its heart and soul begin another different sphere. Wow, what a rhyme. No matter how many, how many hundreds of thousands of years it takes, let us pray to those who once loved by another. And will once again cross paths in the future. Lives are, that are born, lives that are taken, and those wandering not know where to go. Let this light shine forth and show them the way. How's work treating you tonight, Bacon? Despite this play being the same same every 13 years, the power of the hearts and believers are gathered here is unlike any other day. However, myself, however, I myself am tired of hearing the same lines. You are the most ungrateful deity I know. Now eat this without another complaint. Wait, is this not from the kiosk you were? Mm-hmm. It's maybe just me, but the play this time seems to have much more emotion than the previous festivals. Maybe that's because, as if it sounded really directed to Alyssa herself. What do you think, Zach? Do you think it reached her? There's no doubt in my mind it did. Roll the credits! Uh, 
Oh, this was a fantastic, mediocre Kimco game, and I did not change the difficulty. I thought I was going to have to for that final fight, but that final fight could have been a little bit more better explained. And it says use you know use your trust attacks, use magic attacks, use your uh, physical attacks, use normal attacks. You know, combine. That's what it, that's what it hit to me in the beginning of the fight. And I was doing a variation, and everything was hitting fine on all the enemies. I didn't notice with the main dude he wasn't doing any damage. And then you basically knock out those ads and then take him on face to face with using your sub attacks. And that's how you deal damage. That's the only way you can deal damage with your party members. I'm like, what the fuck? That was poorly, poorly explained. Off on here somewhere. Well, and you thank you for thanking me. I expected more fantastic music for a credit roll. As if I intend to, normal ending. Well, I'm sure there's a true ending, I'm not doing that. Saving the clear data will cause a mark period. Save data will allow for a new ending by something we trust you during the last boss. Well, so basically they copied the same thing. Oh, I'm just skipping through this because I want to see if there's three. I'm just skipping through this. I'm not doing the true ending round or anything like that. I mean, this game... Because I think I have to refight him, right? Oh, there's extra stuff to this. Oh, well, Rascal shit comes back. I'm not, I'm, I'm skipping through this because I'm not doing this. Probably raid out in a second because that's already four. I didn't expect to go into overtime on this. That fight took way too long. I think Bacon can agree with that. I think next time Bacon sees Manals, we'll see that fight was a dick. It wasn't a hard fight, it just dragged the fuck on too long. Well, no, the beginning of the fight was tough, but once you took out all the, the ads, then it became easier.
Oh, so basically they free Claudius out. Okay. If I decide to do the bonus content, I'll do it on the stream of this, but I think I'm done with the game. Because I, I asked if I Hearts had a bonus content. And it was long, and I was like, eh. And it was also massively tough. They added a lot of, even on easy mode, the monsters were brutal. later. I've come with word of Selene as awoken. Really? That's wonderful news. Can we go see her now? Yes, please come at once. Zach! Yeah, let's go over to the castle. Just, I'm gonna try to go through this as fast as I can. I'm just seeing what's what they added. Because they added a new side quest. They added all, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm appreciative of New Game Plus 1 content. I, don't get me wrong on that. I'm just curious. Oh. Uh, where's she at? Alright. They had a new quests, all kinds of stuff. Well, where's Selena? Is she in this room? There she is. You never know after the credits. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do it, but uh, I knew they had. I, I had a feeling they added content. This is where you've been. Selena's right. Are you able to be up like this, Zach? You're still dizzy. You should probably rest some more. And I thought the same thing myself, but she has been able to sleep. That's why I brought her here to my room. I preach this. When you hear our command, rest yourself. As says that's what your body seeks. I appreciate your words. However, the reason I cannot sleep has nothing to do with fatigue. By the way, Bacon, thanks for looking it up for me and seeing what you could find. <laughs> Check out this video. and The video kind of helped and kind of didn't. I hear a voice. A voice? Yes, the voice of Luna pleading something to end her life. Luna as your alternate self in Riviera, being two people's a pulse and one that affect the other. Under normal circumstances, no. But a temporary stay in the parallel two years ago may have been a catalyst due to her involved with other selves. Furthermore, the soul of Alyssa, who had possessed Selena, has unusual circumstances surrounding her. With no president, this is merely a uh, presupposition. However, I believe for the voice of the same existence across between worlds. And you think you can come to happen to, happen to Luna? Or something has affected all Riviera? Lawrence. I'm looking forward to the festival, but sadly it seems I won't be able to make it. Then the situation cannot be helped. Wherever you can see other, uh, see it again in 13 years. That's true. Wait, where are you going? Riviera. You can go and enjoy the Star Festival as much as I, uh, with us. As much as I doubt we'll be back in time. Don't give me that crap. You're going, so are we. No, you say put an ass divine and take care of this. <laughs> but you think you've, you don't, don't think you can bench us now, kitty cat. Ariel's right, especially after we've, we've helped you in Arcello. For that, I'm thankful, but this is different. 
It is because I don't have any divine powers myself. No, the answer is the same for both Zack and Zella. Why they change that to level with me too? Does your presupposition of having to do with Alyssa possessing Celine's body on top of that, if we follow the source of incident with Alyssa, it connects with our cello. In short, we still haven't finished helping you what you asked us to do in the beginning. What? Good call, Zach. You're absolutely right. Until we finish that, you can't leave us behind. And if you refuse us now, you'll be making quitters, quitters out of us. Felix, we have no way to counter them. Sigh. Here we're thinking about your welfare and to throw your compassion back in our face. Why can't you just accept what we're trying to do for you? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out? Yeah, we're companions, and that's what companions do. Exactly. We're still unaware of the situation in Riviera. Depending on what we encounter, there's a possibility we shall have no choice but to send you back to As Divine. If it comes to that, you must not complain. We won't. Now let's get over there. Very well. I must apologize for getting you involved in all of this. What do you have to apologize for? Rather, we should be thanking you. You also have my word. We're going to fix this thing with Luna and be back before the Star Festival begins. That's why I want you to rest until then. You'll be performing on stage, right? We're looking forward to it. Understood. I will wait for your return. Queen Gloria, we desire to open Port of Riviera here in the castle. Do you have room we can utilize that purpose? There's one available to east of the castle entrance. I'll make order of one of the men's stand guard as well. That'll be a great help. Most room the castle. Okay. We're just gonna check this out real quick and then we'll wrap up for the night. Getting getting those uh, stuffies really didn't do anything. And this room ready for you, please use as needed. Do it so nicely. Now let's get to it. Great is to respond to Celine's soul and connect us to where Luna is. You should also transport within the Proscrow Center. Therefore, we must be prepared. Got it. Let's do this. Ooh, trippy. Here we are. What is this? I don't remember this place. The walls appear to be new. It must be built in the two years since we were last here. It's Luna, do you just remember us? Power, power, power. Oh, that's Luna from the past and the other. Oh, I remember her from the first game. Well, I thought her magic was too strong and would cause a blindness since she was born. I mean, she could have sensed it when somebody would join by their magic, but her eyesight has been restored. It's hard to tell. Then again, she didn't exactly make one contact either. Something's not right here. Power! She's got big boobies, too. Power, power, power! What the world's going on with her? Zack, everyone! Uh, are you finally awake? You real? Yes, it's me. How are you feeling? better days, but I'll survive. Thank goodness you weren't hurt. Everyone except me lost consciousness being hit by that powerful wave of magic. Felix says because the deity is probably your most sensitive to magic, the effects were greatest on you four. I take it nothing happened to you then? No, I never thought being normal human being would actually try to be a good thing, but it did in this case. <laughs> I now know that's may sound strange, but sorry, I feel happy about it. Probably feel the same way if I were in your shoes. It looks like I've been using, I've been using your lab as a pillow while I've been out. I hope my noggin wasn't too heavy. Of course not. Rather, I was glad. Glad? That's not important now. <laughs> Said we should go see everyone in the next room over. They've been waiting for us to wake up. Let's go, eh? I'm just going to finish these cutscenes and see what unlocks, and then we'll call it. Zach, you're awake. I'm glad to see you're okay. Took you long enough. Pitiful. 
My bad for being a weak link this time around. That said, why does this place look familiar? This is Luna, and that can't be boy a large place. When I first got outside of Yana Temple, I recognized the area, so I brought you all here. Are you careless by yourself? I had some help. What's that look for? Because, because I helped too. What the? You're a fairy? Right, you are. I'm elusive, one of the assigned to oversee this world of Riviera. Alright, well, what's the thing around your neck? A collar? Great observation. That's exactly what it is. Uriel gave it to me. Huff, huff. What's up with this weirdo? As soon as I got outside of the shrine, this pesky gnat showed up, offered to help. Pesky gnat? Is that how you view me? <laughs> as it turned out, Rascal's not to blame this time. But with still being difficult to give the fairy any benefit of the doubt. I merely stuck that call on her as means to prevent any potential attempts to harm you all. Curb her magical abilities. I see. And I get where you're coming from, but you know what you're now only sad in Felix Nadia. Besides, if anything happens, the comfort will be able to handle it. Now, can I get you to remove that color? No. Don't even think of trying to convince me to give me my new gift. How often are you trying to deceive me like that? What? You never change, do you? Zach, so allow us to do as she pleases. There's a few eggs short of a dozen, so to speak. If you say so. Now, Lucy, tell us what you know about the situation here. Okay, but please tell me what happened on Cello 2. Very well. Come here, and I'll share my memories with you. I see. Rascal's no more. So let me commit to you now, Masters, and also those with you. I'll do my best to pick up the slack when Rascal's no longer available to fill his duties. I have confidence you will. Now, let me tell you what I know about things in Riviera. It all began not that long ago when... Catastrophe suddenly struck. It was with the clouds. That's cool they add extra content. Remember that was at the world level buildings, tore apart mountains, and changed the topography of the land in general. Couldn't help but wonder what it was myself. Theories flying around at first range from being a work of the Monster King to a supernatural phenomenon. Ah! But diverse witnesses' accounts say that beyond the darkness they saw someone or heard a voice woman laughter. And as for the most part now, the disaster had been attributed to a single source. The Angel of Doom. Okay. <laughs> if it's Angel of Doom, no one knows her true identity. But I sense you probably have an idea who it is. Luna. Yes. Up to this point, she has not harmed anyone directly with the exception of yourselves. And while there has been some injuries resulting from destruction of various buildings, they all appear to have been minimal. Even so, we can't just ignore the problem. I think so, too, because you never know what can happen next time. As for this angel of doom, she appeared roughly the same time Selene was possessed by the soul of Alyssa. Summarizing from memory I received from you, Master. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I agree. I'm tired. Luna originally had magical powers that exceeded those of both you and the Shadow Deity in your current situation, and when her alternate self and as divine was possessed by a de deceased soul, as would everything hit the fan. In short, it must have caused Luna's magic to run out of control and from what led to the current state of things in this world. The High Priestess did mention she heard a voice to say end her life, which makes sense if Luna herself was unable to stop what was happening to her. I'd also connect the dots with what Lucid has done to her in her memory. Still, I have a hard time thinking that's the only cause. No matter how strong Luz Magic is, she's still a human. Then what's about fighting Lars and talking to him? He must know something. Probably not a bad idea. Speaking, where is he? From the looks of things, he appears to be out. Only this map was left behind. Lars makes all the corrections himself because of it. It looks like the top of this one has seen some major changes in the time he's been gone. There's also some notes here from the places this Angel of Doom has caused harm or injury. It also appears the roads continue to have Mount Hoopa to the north and Cockroach Village have been destroyed and no longer usable. Damn! Lars also included his notes, World Shrine and Gemini Tower were destroyed from the, from the face of the land. Those are, those are areas from the first game. Even the lodge were used for first arrived in Riviera two years ago. It looks to be gone. It also appears to be a number of places that have been wiped out. It's a miracle in itself more people weren't killed. And our first objective should be to track down Lars and find out what else he knows. I know we shouldn't, but I think this map will be used to us. 
According to this map, we should be able to travel to Izar Port without much trouble. Now let's see about visiting there first. Wow, they had a lot here. Um, do you have any instructions to be commands for me in this in the meantime? What are you rephrasing? It? Stay, you stay port. What? Don't you even have a small job for me? Like, for example, to lay on the ground and be stomped under your feet or be tied up with ropes and lashed? Ooh, woo? This guy's into S and M. No. What? Wait, are you giving me the sign of treatment as a way to punish me? Then I'll gladly accept that too. Wow, you like to be punished. Do whatever you want and leave. We can't we can't get on with things as long as you're holding us back. As you wish. Hi. They all understand that mentality. <laughs> you're not alone on that. Forget that message is fairy. We're still in the heart of these mountains. In order to reach Azara Ports in the Northeast, we'll need to make our way through Mount Hoba. Alright then, let's do that. Wow. Uh, I will back up my save data for this. And maybe down the road we'll do bonus content. But yeah, I am going to call it in a second. I didn't. I would figure that we just got like an extra ending or something like that. I guess they just give you extra content you have to go through. My biggest fear is usually when you add bonus content for true endings and extra stuff, bosses are usually a lot more harder. And as Bacon saw here earlier, that was a dingus. I'm hoping the, the radiation therapy went great, Antares, and glad you're able to glad you're able to hang out with your mom and everything. Sure is gloomy. Almost unlike an unbend ending sight. If days continue like this, everyone will grow dispirited. Speaking of, aren't you gonna summon our flying pub war? While I love to, the clouds are blocking the light of the sun due to Luna's magic, and with them uh, enveloping the entire world, I'm able to call her here. Oh, back on, back on foot. Some good you turn out to be, that makes me trying to get around a chore. And maybe you could be of use. Come on, Lucid. What the? You have orders for me now, Master? Then take my wish as my command. Looks hopeful at Nadia. Ah, it seems like you're doing that. Get up. Oh, I get that's unfortunate. <laughs> wow. But what can I do for you? We need to summon our flying pugwort to As Divine to trip from As Divine to freely travel here in Riviera, but the clouds are blocking our magic. We need you to find a way to remove them. Understood. Please say everything to me. When it's time to get down to business, she's serious, isn't she? Her personal quirks subtract from that, though. Why is she as such? Even we do not know. At any rate, we should, we should, she, since she'll be taking care of things for us, we should head for Ezal Port. Okay, we're gonna stop it here. Alright. I will go. I'm gonna get back to this, I think, once I have all my YouTube uh, videos uploaded and ready to go and published for As Divine. That will be a while, so I like to move on to something else for the After Dark stream. So that's what we'll do. So, uh, Thanks for everyone for watching. Antares, Thunderfoot Bros, or Bacon, Sorrel, and anybody else in Sine, and 
Uh, anybody else that I did not mention? Oh, yeah, and um, I forgot her name already. Uh, but thank, thank you also for coming on in here. Um, but, yeah, so next After Dark stream, I think, will be on Saturday, and we're going to play a game called Distance. And it's a racing game. I've always wanted to play it and give it a shot and check it out. And that will just give some time to get As Divine up and going. Yeah, this is part 13. Um, I li the way I, li I list the same things on my streams, um, I list the same things on my streams as this. Is this on, uh, like for my YouTube to keep track of what I what I'm gonna upload, and all video. I mean, there's they're all up there. They're just not not the entire uh, uh, the entire parts are not up there yet. So we I have part four uploaded. So once I get part thirteen up there. We'll come that that way. That gives a good significant break because the thing is, I don't know how long the bonus content's going to be, and let them know is it going to wreck my shit? Because <laughs> you know how, I mean, uh, watch the entire if you get time, just watch the vault on this this final fight, and it was ridiculously just dragged on and long. I mean, I overall enjoyed As Divine Hearts, and I'm intrigued to play the bonus content to get the better ending, so because it tells a really good story. It's a mediocre RPG, but it tells. But it tells a really good story. It just has a very mediocre uh, saying to it. Um, I almost want to give this a thumbs down simply because of that last fight could have been. Because if I couldn't have finished that fight, that would have been a thumbs down. Because that fight, it was... Hold on a second. Hold on. One second. Sorry about that. That was the uh, fire alarm. Sometimes it, it, it does a maintenance thing and it just wants to be acknowledged. And it's everything's fine over here. So, um, so I'll, I'll be curious on how this um, how this game uh, turns out to be. So I don't. So. When this finally gets when you see, when you're watching part thirteen on YouTube, rest assured I am going to come back on this and see where it concludes that because I'm you know I did skip a lot of that dialogue in the beginning. I'm sorry about that or for the because I thought it was going to trigger a fight because um, in the uh, first Ask Divine Hearts you you picked the other option. They copied the same thing they did from the um, other game from the first game. You, all right, now do the fight again and you'll have this whole new thing be triggered. And I didn't even go as far as that. They changed that in here. So that's why I was kind of skipping through dialogue. But since, you know, hey, we actually unlocks new content, I'm actually going to give it give it a check out. Now, I don't want to fall, no, trust me, if the alarm goes off here, it is a freaking banshee. And a few years ago, we had to get the, 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 the water pressure pumps would slowly lose pressure, PSI, and that manages the, the sprinklers in the hotel. And if they get too low, it triggers the thing, it boosts up really high, and it resets itself. But unfortunately, since that's connected to the fire alarm system, that triggers the fire alarm, and we can't turn that off. The fire department had to get up, get up here. And it took forever for, I guess, the corporate to approve the repair job for it. And I was like, man, we're losing money, especially in summer. Because guess what? The since it gets since it's night outside and the pressure goes down, it triggers that more often. So in the middle of the night, especially in a, a packed place, <laughs> how many I'm sorry am I saying to people? And most of the time, they'll evacuate the hotel just to be on the safe side. But there's no fire; it's just the water pressure system was malfunctioning. They finally fixed that, but still, it was dingus. It wasn't fun. Ooh. All right, so. I mean, we've got four people in here. That's okay number. I mean, I wish it was a little bit higher, but that's an okay number. You know what? We'll raid Hate Buddy. I have not. There's nobody on here this time of night. 
And he's a cool dude. Blurry moon, piercing and dark touch? That's pretty cool. But, yeah, so, yeah, we'll, we'll raid Hey Betty. So let me go ahead and end this recording. So, yeah, like I said, we will have, there will be a part 14 of As Divine Hearts, probably not for a, a couple of months because I want to do something else for a bit. But I suspect sometime in late April, I'll get back on As Divine Hearts, the bonus content. And it'll be after dark stream, of course, uh, and just pass the time. Because I want to see where this is going to go with the story. Because like I said, it's a good story. I hope you guys are enjoying the story too, as I'm enjoying it. Because it's just, it's very witty and, and funny. Uh, I know there's other As Divine games out there. I got As Divine Dios, I think it's called, and a few other ones from Chemco. I don't know why they're called that. Maybe they're the same universe. I don't know if the stories are connected. I don't know which one I played next. This one picks up right where the first one left off, so I know what I was diving into. So we'll pick on them. Uh, pick.